third-year quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. On first down, Dixon. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. 23 yards, the final tally. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says, our guy is better than your guy's. Because you know a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Looking to throw. Dixon. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. But sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Pressure brought in and the Falcons get there for the sack. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Bringing him out is the pride of North Dakota State. Now in his seventh NFL season, Carson Wentz. He'll drop this down to Jackson. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now second and seven from the 23. Wentz going to bat this forward on the jet sweep. And he stopped immediately there. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Now Young. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. 
But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Throwing on first down. Dixon gets this to his running back. That's Jalen Samuels. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Off the play fake, Dixon. And he is going to go down. He will be sacked on the final play of this first quarter. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. To throw on third down. Dixon escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, Talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. They've been playing the field position game thus far. No score, second quarter as they come up on first and 10. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now a man open down the middle of the field and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Young now. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Okay. 
So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Now a handoff inside, it's Jackson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. A deep ball down that right sideline, and he made sure that he put it where either his guy was going to catch it or no one was. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Young will set to throw. Being chased out left. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. Give him eight yards that time on the scramble, and now fourth down. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they can at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them in the field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. And now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fields it right around the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half as they take over with exactly one minute to go. Throwing to start the drive. Dixon. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And down he'll go at the 25. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Back to throw. Dixon. And he'll just get rid of it. And there's an incompletion pattern and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Looking to throw. Dixon. He finds his man complete. It's Barker. And he is going to have a box first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice ease. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes the sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. 
As we send you cross country to Orlando, Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from the first half for the Bucks, And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they, too, have found passing lanes to be hard to come by so far. As you see by the numbers, they'll need to figure that out in the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And the Falcons ready to go back to work to start the third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. to throw young he finds his man complete that's Brooks and he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds he was held without a catch in the first half but he's got one here and he also picks up a first down Now Young. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Young. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked. It was the bottom half that was in question. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And yeah, with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. 
They gave up a significant run, six yards. And now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them? And do I have enough confidence to make a play? Caught by Jones. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And here's a handoff out of the gun. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be cool bubbles around the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. The last run got six, now second and four. the gun they'll look to throw over the middle complete it's Barker seven yards there at a first down <laughs> I got kicked out of that one partner you and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations but a guy of his size can't really hide him but the tight end drag route definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down so after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Operating from the gun, Dixon. And a quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Third down, Dixon. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now as he's on to kick it away. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And Charles, we've seen almost three full quarters now, and neither offense can really get it going. Neither has hit the end zone, and neither side seemingly can make that big play. But the game hasn't been devoid of action because these two defenses, they've taken over and they've slugged it out. But I think you're exactly right. We're at that stage of the game now where one of these offenses, if they make a big play, that could be the difference. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard game. here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. 
Wentz going to bat this forward on the jet sweep. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Second down, this is Jackson. And space tough to come by there as he'll give maybe a yard to the 37. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some fun. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and nine. Young to throw it. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Wentz going to bat this forward on the jet sweep. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. On the give, here comes Jackson. And he's going to be met at about the 43. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Young. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. They run with Jackson out of the gun. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Young to throw. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Now that's a big pickup right there, and so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking up play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels, you could see them trying to recover. They bit, worked out offensively. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. The Falcons in victory formation as they take a knee.
This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Young's going to take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Brandon, I can just tell you from experience, there's nothing like pitching a shutout on defense, but even more so when it's a tight game. I mean, when every defensive play is crucial and you don't give up any points, boy, they're going to feel awfully good about themselves after this one. Yeah, exactly. The offense wasn't humming, but, hey, all they needed was... Well, you can't score one point. All they needed was two points. Well, you can't score two points on offense. All they needed was at least three, and they got what they needed. They got what they needed. Exactly right. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And not all Ws are created equal, CD. And this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. Well, you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket, and that's what they've got going forward.